when we were doing the line, I got to the feeling within me when we were coming to the male line, because I concentrated on that. Before we went to Ireland, I sat out on Gurnard's head where it comes in, and I sat there for ages with my shoes off on the rock that we knew that energy came in, and I got a kind of like a hum, like a sound, which went through my body, and I thought, wow. What we do when we, when we concentrate on something now is that we look at it and we see its color and its texture and we feel it, and we smell it, and we listen to it, because sometimes you can actually pick something up. And you can taste it, if you like. Now hold it in your hand for a while, and use all of these senses to get to know it as well as you possibly can. And now I'd like you to close your eyes. Hold it in both your hands there and close your eyes. And now I want you to become the bulb. And go inside it. And be its shape. And go forward in time. You're in a, in a place of total rest. And it's black. And you're quite happy where you are because inside you, you have an awareness of a huge potential. And it's not the right time, and you're happy to sit and wait, still with this knowledge, exciting knowledge inside you, that at the right time, something very special is gonna happen. And you become aware of slight variations of temperature, and that's, Faintly interesting. And then you become aware that the changes in temperature are getting greater, and sometimes it's much warmer than others. And then the drumming sound comes. And when the drumming sound comes, sometime later, the, the black round you changes its texture a bit. So you, you get curious about this, and you put a little probe at the bottom. And the little probe goes out and it touches a little goblet of water with nutrients in it and that you suck up inside the bulb there and you get that feeling that the thing has started. And the, the temperature gets warmer, the variations get, get more severe and you think I must find out a bit more about where I am and who I am and what potential I have. So you put out a little probe at the top and it goes up through the black and suddenly you break through with a little delicate white probe into a completely different environment. It's something very special. And your little probe, it's a very white probe, so you think, I must protect this thing because I've got to find, this, find out what's happening. And you put up some leaves, and as soon as you get into this new environment, this air, you, your whole colour changes, you get green, and you become aware of the elements, the wind, the rain, the light, the shade, the sun. And meantime, you're sucking up nutrients from the black earth. And you know that something, you know you're going to reach your huge potential and become something absolutely beautiful. And you form a little bud on the end of the probe. And you know that from this bulb, you will reach your absolute fruition. And you become aware that you're not alone. There's hundreds of you all around, exactly the same. And you start communicating with each other. You burst into flower. And you can feel the admiration for these other creatures. And you realize that you really are incredibly beautiful. And you dance around for days and weeks. And then you reach a time when you think, this cycle is over. I'll now retreat back. I'll preserve all my energy. And I'll put it back in the bulb there. Because I know there's another cycle to come. Now 
Now we are, at the moment, in our five sense physical bodies. We are where this bulb is. We have the potential to develop into something which is quite extraordinarily greater than anything we can possibly conceive. We can be aware of, of an, a completely new environment, a completely new, new set of senses, a completely new understanding of our position in the universe. The thing is that the little bulb has all that knowledge inside it and it knows how to release it. We have all that knowledge inside of us and we're not sure how to release it. But we have to find a way. And maybe through the art of dowsing, we can reach somewhere where we realize our true potential. <laughs>